Man, we are back. Apologize for the inconvenience. We're here with my girl, my one and only, my fav- my favorite, my player partner, compadre, amigo. Amigo. You've seen it being a love of hip hop is in the building. Also, my girl Lee, what's going on, mom? What up? What's up, wish? None. Just, you know. Looking um fine as ever. Don't make no sense. Oh, uh, you know, I try to do what I do when I can do yeah, what yeah. I can do yeah, <laughs> and yeah. everything. I already know it's too easy, though. It is. Yeah, kind of. So, um, <laughs> please let the fans know, uh, people who don't know you a little bit about yourself and what you got going on. Oh, my God. I have everything going on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> everything. I have a radio show. Shout out to motherfucking 5050 Magazine. 5050. 5050 mm-hmm. 50, 50 World Star Radio. Shout out to World Star. Shout out to Highly Unique. Shout out to Rich Black. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to the fans. Right. I got a lot going on. That's that's a lot. I'm getting ready to start a cooking show. Julia Childs? I am. What? That's what I'm talking about. I'm... Chefs do that. You can cook? I can cook. What's the best thing you can cook? I want some. Probably. What's your favorite thing to cook? My favorite thing to cook is kind of abstract. People are not really into it, but I've been a vegetarian for a lot, a lot of years, and I like fish spaghetti. Oh yeah, that, oh yeah. Um, I, I definitely want to come on your show because I want to do a cook off. Because I, I think I can um, out cook you. That's I, 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 I like to. That's, I, I a, that's a leap. I definitely like to cook that's a, as well. That's a, that's a big leap. Well, you know, light skinned folks take leaps. Okay, so I, right. you know, I'm gonna leave with you. Feeling that, all right. You know I'm what I mean? That. You I'm feeling froggish and everything? I'm a, I'm a battle, you feeling, so you feeling froggish and everything? I, I Let's like do it. Whatever you cook, I'm gonna get like you. Okay. You feel me? I'm, right. I'm gonna do the same as well. We are gonna see who tastes better. All right. Can I be the um judge? No. Um, <laughs> I'm just playing. So the cooking show, yeah, it's gonna be on um, Comcast Channel 25. That's what's and, up. Um, shout out to Peach TV. When do you think that's gonna start? We are gonna start. Taping in the next like two weeks. It's hmm. coming. It's coming soon. I got like a full staff and everything is moving fast. And director and we getting stuff together and our press kids. Shout like, Atlanta. Yeah. That's what's yeah. That's I'm what's like, up. um, yes, yeah, this is really happening. Most definitely. So man. it's cool. I got a lot. You, you a do. Lot you do have on. a lot of going on. I do. Very, very diverse. Plus um, two babies. Two oh. two beautiful children. Mm-hmm. You, you I have mine. three, three, but. I had two at the house. Right. Well, two mm-hmm. twins. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what I'm, I'm mm-hmm. going to say. Two twins. Team twins. Team twins. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely a um, diverse businesswoman. Uh, oh, good, my God. Good mom. Then I have my artist. Shout out to Guala. We're getting ready to finish her mixtape, do a couple of videos. I'm working on that. You manage um, someone? I do. I have an artist. Her name is Guala. She's okay. dope as hell. And could you... Could you um, as far as you, um, when you when you take on a particular artist, mm-hmm. I guess as a manager, what, what do you what do you think um, a manager is supposed to do, or the actual physical qualities, or even uh, even like yourself, mm-hmm. um, or a celebrity, independent artist, even a model, mm-hmm. the benefits of a manager of having a or manager, a, a good manager, not a manager that particularly just sit there and collects checks on a particular client. Absolutely. I definitely think when it comes to managers and PRs right. um, that you definitely have to do the work. Um, while we're the faces of whatever you have going on, big or small, right. Um, right. if you acquire those services, I think that it should be a, it should be equal teamwork. So if you're willing to do the work, you're on TV, you busting your ass doing what you need to do, um, your manager should be trying to take you, your brand to the next level. How can you elevate that person? Right. Um, and if you're not doing that, you're just somebody that's around me. Bit pretty much. And I don't need anybody else around. Yeah, I got me. too much going on. Dead like, weight. You know that is that's too much, and that's what right. a manager should be doing. What what kind of alcohol can I get you in? What can I if you do music? Can I get your music on a, a movie mm-hmm. or a soundtrack or a commercial or where are we taking this show right. to the next level? So yeah, everybody needs to be pulling their own weight. If you want me to give you some money, I need you to see. 
Results. I need I need to see what I'm giving you money for. When exactly. you when you bust a move and that move gonna make us some money, oh then absolutely we gonna break bread. Most definitely. And that's just that's just what life period. You can't go nowhere and get nothing for free. Not not well. No, and you, time you is money. It is. Absolutely, mm. mine is. Most definitely. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> <laughs> Um. <laughs> so um, I I want to know because I, I I really don't know. Mm-hmm. You know I don't, I don't you know I'm being on everybody business like that. Uh, mm-hmm. So are you single? I I will say I'm single. Hmm. Yeah, I'm single. Let me write this down right fast. <laughs> I'm just trying to. I would say I'm single. Oh, what's up? I would say I'm single. I have I have. It's complicated. You, you, it's complicated. Got, I have a complicated life. Complicated. I have situations. Hmm. I have situations. I know. I know you got a lot knocking at the door. Yeah. I got do. to. <laughs> I do. Yep. And I'm really, really close friends with a lot of people. A lot of people fuck with me in the streets. I got a lot of respect out here. Mm-hmm. Shout out to all my homies. Shout out to Atlanta. We gotta do better though. Too many of my homies dying. Yeah. Daily. But um. I love this city. I've been out here for a long time. And um, I fuck with Atlanta. Where are you originally from? I'm from Compton. Man, Compton. Oh. Well, from Compton. Right. I'm from Bompton. Real shit going on right here. <laughs> Real shit going around here. You feel me? Yeah, for we, sure. We start crit walking Shout out to the west side, the yeah, best side. Shit. West side. Yeah. Hoop-y My mama's hoop. still right there in the same house, same block. Yeah. My mama keeping it real for yeah, us I, when I go home. Yeah, I went from Compton, um, but of course, you know, Long Beach, Inglewood. I, I was born in Burbank. For sure. Um, you know what I'm saying? Of course. I went to school in Long Hollywood. Beach. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The West that Side way. is the best side. That way. I ain't, I ain't been in a minute, though. I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't been since about 10 years old. I've been, I've been in Atlanta since 12. Oh, man. That shit changed so hard. That shit changed a lot. I, ain't gonna lie, I, miss, I miss Venice Beach. Only thing I really remember about Venice Beach. Is that was a bunch of crazy people out there. I mean, not that, but you know, as far as the people that be around, as far as in the circle and stuff like that, these yep. motherfuckers, you got putting needles through their arms Absolutely. and shit like that. All the crazy, yeah, all on the, the beach, crazy like these long, long ass yeah. needles. All the they crazy just, they things. Just putting it through their arms. It's, 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 it's all the same. It's like a new. It's all kind of people. It's all people. Yeah. Basketball. Maybe all kind of stuff. Working out, working out on, on the beach. They got to sit all that stuff. Maybe having competitions. People with lizards. All that stuff. Big ass. I ain't been so long though. It's but I don't know if you remember. Doing magic. It's just are you, Venice are you Beach familiar well. with where Venice Beach was? It was used on the opposite side of the beach. It used to be an elementary school. It was called Westminster. There used to be a lot of and stuff over that there. Was, that was the elementary school I went to. And they sunk. Really? A lot of shit did it? I'm asking. Oh, I don't know. It was on the other side. I'm not uh, really. I, I don't know if it did. I, I said, it's been so long. I just remember that. Because there was a lot of stuff in um, in California mm. that um, that is no longer because it sunk. Because right. California is like. Right. Going Slowly going underwater. So when we were, Damn. when I was young, it was an amusement park called Marine World, and it's not there anymore. It's all water. That's, wow. that's pretty wild. That's happened in Miami too, but they get like the big trucks and put fake sand, like and like build them. Yeah, yeah, like the other day I was out there and there was legit concrete under the sand. Get the hell out of like, here! If somebody <laughs> fall on this fake <laughs> ass sand, they're gonna bust their knee wide open. Like, what is that? This girl is crazy. Talking about it with some cement. I moved it. I like just to the side. It was concrete under the sand. Under the sand? Are you sure? I'm sure. You gotta take me back to that location. And they come dump sand. Dump sand out there so the beach don't go away. Like if you go on South Beach, like they keep putting sand out there so that the water don't. Or maybe we're not even where we think we're on what we think we're on. (laughs) Maybe it's just it's all fucking semen, maybe. They just watching us from like a little bulb or some shit. <laughs> just wait. Yeah, I'm silly. I'm just playing, y'all. Oh, what, what do you got in your hair? I, I smell it and it's like smells delicious. Well Beautiful. I like to stay nice and clean. And just natural. I like to stay nice and clean. This is my this is my girl's hair. Her name is Latrice Extensions. My girl Lania. Shout out to the trees extensions. It's beautiful, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, I, don't, I don't think it matter what the hell hair you had. <laughs> I be switching it up. I be yeah. switching. I just took the braids out. I be switching it up. Most definitely. Most definitely. 
Um, so as far as uh, Love and Hip Hop is, is concerned, mm. um, do you see yourself uh, being back on the show or? I see myself there might be a possibility, but you never know. I don't but know. You got to just stay watching it. You should always support Love and Hip Hop and VH1. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you feel like is the most um, something that people interpret about you that's not true? Or what do you feel hmm. like, like opinions on you? Opinions on me. I think people thought on the show that I was probably like an airhead chasing after Jock. When I wasn't really chasing after Jock, I was trying to get revenge on Miss Piggy. That's a big difference. So that was one thing. You said Miss Miss Who? Miss Piggy. Who was that? Katie. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's all that was. It was like a revenge thing, but people interpreted it a different way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's all good. But then sometimes when people meet me, they think that from TV that I don't know what they I don't know what their impression of but when people meet me they always like you're really really cool mm-hmm. cool as fuck <laughs> cool as fuck uh, like the people, coolest tell the people one thing that they might not know about you hmm. make it good oh that's a good one <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to Expose my like real real goodies <laughs> or anything, but um, let's see. One thing is speculation, but one thing people don't know about me is that I'm over forty. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I don't care that if you know or not. <laughs> Some of y'all might not have known that. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. I do. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's my player power. <laughs> um, but that's really twenty four. Yeah. Right. It is like twenty eight ish. Um <laughs> so twenty eight in my mind. Um, so as far as um the aspect of this whole T V thing that has definitely um of course catapulted your career. It did. It did. It did. It definitely if it was any pros or cons, I would definitely say that that was the um the pro. And um Everything that I wanted to do, radio, everything I always aspired to do anyway. I've been in the music industry for a while. I did a lot of stuff back in the 90s and stuff. And um, I've been doing this for a minute. Even though I'm a nurse and I've been a nurse for 20 years, I was also always on the side doing some type of music. Mm -hmm. Um, So to be on TV and people knew that I had music going on and kind of followed my movement and I just... People know me in the music industry, and I, um, I know what I'm talking about with music. I know music. I know what's going to blow. I know what's next. I've been blogging with underground independent artists for a while. Um, so what's, so your doing favorite, it for a while. what's your favorite um, song from Young Jock? My favorite from Jock would probably have to be... Um, which one? <laughs> he has a song on a mixtape that um, really didn't get a big airplay because it was a mixtape. Mm-hmm. But um, it's called Bitch I'm Back. And that's when he was gone for a while and he was getting ready to go on Love and Hip Hop. And he came back out with a, um, a mixtape called Bitch I'm Back. And that mm-hmm. whole album is probably like some of his best work, the entire album. Um, he has a song on there with Jada Kiss called, um, what is it, To the Left. And that shit is jamming. Mm-hmm. And the whole disc is jamming. And not just because he's my kid's dad. I love music. And if it was whack, I would say it was whack. Right. Period. But um, the whole shit from one to whatever number, like 20 something, you can listen to every fucking song back to back. And the album is dope. Bitch, I'm back. Most definitely. Miss mm-hmm. um, Cena, for any of the fans, as far as I know, you got the TV show coming up or anything, as far as where they can find you at, where next event or event you're going to be. Oh, God. I'm always doing stuff. This Sunday, I am doing um, the Susan G. Coleman uh, for Breast Cancer Walk with uh, my girl Janet Jackson. That's what's up. Uh, that's going to be dope. 
shout out to Janet Jackson. She's always doing stuff in the community. And then on the 26th, after um, Thanksgiving, I'm doing a... Um, and please, everybody can come on my page and come see stuff and join in if you want to because it's important. At Miss Cena Bina. At Miss Cena Bina. M-S-S-I-N-A-B-I-N-A. On the 26th, I'm doing teaming up with a, um, an organization, and Hosea Feed the Homeless. And we're doing um, Bikes for Kids, a big event, um, raising money to get kids bikes for Christmas. So um, I'm doing, I do a lot of stuff. Most definitely. I remember that verse. <laughs> I do. Uh, I do a lot of stuff. Definitely appreciate you coming out and spending time with us and uh, getting to know a little bit about you. Right on. Uh, definitely been a pleasure. But of course, before we uh, get up out of here, could just let them know where they can find you on uh, social media. Absolutely. All my social media is Miss Cena Bina. M S S I N A B I N A. Um, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, every freaking thing. Periscope everything and then definitely check out 5050 magazine we're doing a lot of stuff we're getting ready to make some new moves um just keep a lookout for the cooking show it's called the social taste okay. channel 25 on comcast <laughs> and then um i'm gonna also be in a movie soon with terry miles oh yeah that's what's up congratulations, mm -hmm. congratulations. yeah so i got a lot of stuff going on just just follow me yeah, just follow me. Yeah, follow my lead yeah. <laughs> Follow my girl, Miss Cena Bina. We love it. Hip hop. She has lots of upcoming things that's coming up. Definitely a businesswoman. We appreciate you for coming through. Mm -hmm. And you already know she brought Cop Entertainment and Lee here on the B Live Show every Thursday. We got two more guests my dog, Major CEO, and Miss Kaya in the building. Kaya. Appreciate you coming through, Mo. We'll be right back.